Hi, my name is Kim Cullen, and I'm a personal injury attorney in Winter Park, Florida. We talk to a lot of people who have been involved in slip and fall or trip and fall accidents. Many of those people are under the mistaken impression that just because they fall in a commercial building or business, or they fall on somebody else's property, that that person is automatically uh, responsible for paying their medical expenses. Well, that is not what the law is in Florida. Under Florida law, a landowner, a property owner, or business owner can only be held responsible for paying for medical expenses or any other damages if the plaintiff or pedestrian, the person who fell, can prove that the business owner or landowner was negligent or did not act reasonably in some way. Many people are also surprised to learn that even if they prove that the business owner was somehow negligent um, in either not keeping their property up or allowing something uh, slippery or dangerous to exist on their property, that the business owner or landowner can still try to blame the pedestrian or injured person for causing their own injuries. I recently shot a video discussing the, the idea of pure comparative negligence or the, the defense that is commonly raised, the most common defense that's raised, which is that the plaintiff wasn't watching what he or she was supposed to be doing and, and so therefore was negligent or contributed to their own injuries. In today's video, I want to talk about what the second most popular defense is in slip and fall and trip and fall cases. The second most common defense in these cases is what's called the open and obvious doctrine. The idea of the open and obvious doctrine goes something like this, that some conditions on properties are so uh, open and so obvious that even if they're dangerous, that they can't that the owner can't be held liable as a matter of law because the danger is so open and so obvious that the plaintiff should have been able to avoid it. And the classic example, if you look through the case law going back probably to the 1950s, is sidewalk curbs. A lot of people get injured on sidewalk curbs. They're walking along and for whatever reason they don't see the curb, they stub their toe on it and they fall and some people receive really serious injuries. Well, uh, starting back in the 1950s or 60s, people would sue over that. And um, so landowners developed this defense of open and obvious. And, you know, the idea what they came forward to the courts was that, hey, judge, this curb has been there for a long time. It's there. It's not obstructed from anyone's vision. So anyone should be able to see it. So as a matter of law, there should be no way that I could ever be held responsible if someone trips and falls over the curb. As a matter of policy, that's probably all right but um, cases are very rarely that straightforward. So um, in the years after that, you'd have cases where maybe the curb was obstructed, maybe there was a bush in the way, or maybe the lighting was poor or something like that. Well, courts kept coming back and coming back and saying, it doesn't matter, it's a curb. And so therefore you still don't have a case, even if it's, if it's not as open and obvious as it normally would be, everyone should expect that a curb's gonna be in the location that it was. And so these cases kept being uh, difficult for plaintiffs to win. So then about 20 years ago, the tide kind of started turning. And so we'd find cases where um, conditions that, you know, might have been very typical conditions like curbs or things like that started to become, uh, the judges started to decide that they're not so uh, open and obvious because of these other factors that are involved, like foliage and things like that. And so today we see the trend seeming to go in the other direction. So. Uh, a lot of judges are letting these cases go to a jury so a jury can weigh the factors and decide how much negligence is on the plaintiff, how much is on the defendant, instead of ruling as a matter of law that these property owners are protected. And so that's, that's a good thing for our clients and people who've been injured. But it still doesn't mean that these cases are easy. Uh, open and obvious is a defense that's raised in virtually every single trip and fall or, or slip and fall case that we handle. So we've, over the many years that we've been doing this, we've developed some strategies and some techniques for responding to this defense. And we've been able to make some good recoveries for our clients. Of course, every case is different. So the, the success we've had in the past doesn't guarantee any success in the future. So if you have any questions about these kinds of cases or the open and obvious defense, please reach out to us. We love to answer questions. All you have to do is call us at 407 254-4901. You can text us at 407-644-4444, or you can even reach us through the Facebook Messenger app.